pulled up here, beautiful Lake Orville. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've been out here. Uh, you know, I've been practicing and fishing the Wild West Bass Trail. Did the team events with Bo Allen. Uh, we did pretty, did pretty decent. You know, we had um, we got 42nd place. We with 15 pounds, 1508 out of a 232 boat field. So very close. I mean, between 15 and 16 pounds, there's literally like 20 plus places. So it was one fish away, we could have, you know, really made a jump. But just got out here, got a club derby this coming Sunday. Gonna get out here and see, you know, the water's come up a little bit and see if we can't find some you know, decent spots or holding some decent fish and uh, see what happens. Um, I just wanna let you guys know, I signed up as an amateur for the Pro-Am side of the uh, Wild West Bass Trail. So I'll have all this footage I'm sitting on right now from Shasta but I can't put it out until after these tournaments are over. So, you know, look look forward to that. So after after the Shasta is over with, you know, some of that footage will come out. Um, so, I'll take you guys along for the journey today and see if we can find some fish. Well, that was pretty cool. Got shuttled down to the, to the boat from the top and come to find out the girl that was driving the shuttle, uh, her boyfriend watches the channel. So I want to give a shout out to Tyler. Thanks for watching, bro. Appreciate it, man. You know, so we just got out here. Super dirty. I don't know. I, th I think the fish are probably gonna push up shallow, and might be a good reaction bite. Or I don't know. We'll see. You know, I think we're gonna start off probably just running some creeks, points, just anything that looks good and until we can't figure out a pattern that we can put together and, and fish for Sunday. So, you know, stay tuned. fish the water temperatures about 48 almost 49 it's cold I'm up the middle fork right now water's not as dingy as it was up on the main body so I'm, I'm just up here and trying to put something together so like I said that's the first fish I've caught all day it's been slow if it's like this during the tournament it's not gonna take much Forty-seven. John's got a good one. Oh my god. Got a spot poacher. with a good one. All right, this one's probably a pound and a quarter. Get a weight on it. Wow. A 
152. So far I got three keeper fish today. It's not really panning out in my favor. Well, so far it's been a rough day, you know. I've caught, I mean, I've caught a limit worth of fish, but really only three that were worth even weighing. So, I don't know, I got probably another half an hour, I'm gonna be out get off the lake. But let me try one more spot, see if it's holding any fish. And uh, if not, see it the dock. Morning everyone, just got back out here, beautiful Lake Oroville, uh, it's day two, a little uh, practice. I was out here yesterday, caught a few fish, water's muddy, cold, you know, didn't really adapt too well, so I uh, got Bo with me today, um, also practicing for the same little club derby we got tomorrow, so um, we're going to run around like chickens with their heads cut off and see if we can find some fish. What do you think about today, bro? Um, I feel like they're going to be pushed up a little bit more than they were yesterday, but not fully committing to going up shallow again, but yeah. who knows, they're fish, they could change their mind overnight. <laughs> yeah, their brains are the size of, the, I mean, like, that big, and it's, it's it'll drive you crazy sometimes trying to figure them out, but in the last few days, water's come up like 20 plus feet, so, I don't know, looking at the depth finder and stuff, it looks like they're pushed like 20 plus down foot down like they're still there they haven't really moved up but you never know until you get your line wet so take you guys along for the journey oh Bo I think I seen he's got his ice fishing rod today let's oh, see yeah. that thing let's see that bad boy oh, 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 oh yeah are we gonna catch some fish on that today oh yeah this is the drop shot machine right here <laughs> if you don't throw this for your drop shot you're not a real man oh yeah we will make fun of you if, you if you fish with something else. Yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see me during Wild West with this, just <laughs> four pounder. For sure. Well, all right, guys, let's get to it. Super shallow in this creek. Got it on a, a spinner bait. I'll take that a white spinner bait, silver blade, gold blade. A little high tech in the trailer. So let's give her a weight. It's a 149. So, all right, get bigger. Alright, midday update. So far, we've gone up uh, the West Branch, the North Fork, uh, you know, the North Fork. It's a little cleaner than it was out main body. 
so we caught a few fish up here nothing nothing to brag about um you know so far just trying to cover water Let's see if we figure something out something we could pattern on um tomorrow it's gonna be blowing it's gonna be raining um be a little little different than it is today today's overcast a little stain it's not muddy like it is main body but uh, Bo got one on a drop shot cut one on a jig yeah nothing nothing solid yet so He was probably on there for like three minutes and I was just sitting down there shaking it. Not even paying attention. Got it. Magnum. Oh. Nice little healthy chunk. Today's been slow, to say the least. I'd say so. This muddy water has us all screwed up. But, when in doubt, it's Orville. You can always catch a couple of these. Okay. Getting good dong. There we go. Oh, finally. <laughs> It that fish is white. Wow. <sighs> I don't even think it's worth weighing. But all right. Good one. Good one? Yeah. Thank you. I would definitely take five of those right now. 189. Yeah. There's a nice little chunker. Boom. Oh, yeah. No way. What? <laughs> oh, I forgot to do my magic hook check. <laughs> well, GoPro died. Bo got one. Two and a half hours later. <laughs> The bite is just on today. Oh yeah. They are smashing. About one fish every two and a half, three hours. Oh dang. Good old robo worm. Can't leave home without it. Nope. Jeez. Well, there's a small one. Bye bye. Well, Calling it a day. You know, I gotta say, overall, it was a grind. It's one of those days on Oroville. Water temp's cold. Uh, you know, water's a little dirty. And just, just, it's slow. You really gotta work your bait slow to get a bite. And uh, I don't know, tomorrow I'll be fishing with Kay. Bo will be with his dad. And, you know, hopefully one of us can put something together. It's, uh, but regardless, anytime you get on the water, it's always fun. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.